your desktop app may need to interact with social media or remote storage via RESTful API calls. Um, these, this is video one of two showing um, a desktop app that I've written that can do that. The first video, this one, is going to show the app, how to use it and what it does. The second one will show um, the code and explain how it does what it does programmatically. Um, brief summary of the app, it's a desktop um, app written in C++ using the MFCs. Um, to make the RESTful API calls, it uses libcurl and libcurl uh, itself in turn uses open SSL. So we'll have a there will be more detailed explanation on the code and how it works programmatically in the second video. This one I'll just show the app itself. This configuration is debug 64 bit, so it's not as responsive as it could be, but um, the project is available on GitHub so people can download it and build um, the configurations that they want. So what we've got is an owner draw list control with two columns, path and progress. Progress is um, a Windows theme handle being used to draw a progress control and it gives the user some feedback in, um, as to how the upload is progressing and path is just the full path name. So we've got an append button. Let's append some content to the list control. So this app will access remote storage. It, um, it uses Dropbox. Um, I've created a Dropbox account. I've used the App Center in Dropbox to register an app called C++ um, and then Dropbox has given me a key and a secret which you can use to start the authentication process. Um, the end point is having an access token. Once you've got your access token you can then upload content and um, erase content and change things in the account. Um, so we have a start button and there are three types of upload this serial which will if we select two serial will create a, a background thread and create a work a batch of work to do and give it to that thread um, that batch being two files to upload and they'll be uploaded sequentially one after the other serial multicore is exactly the same but the batch of work is in turn given to Intel's thread building blocks to spread the work over all the available cores so um, you would see some parallel activity and um, then we have parallel itself which unlike the other two who create just one background thread if I create if I select those five and use parallel start it will create five background threads and still give a batch of work to do to that thread because it's, it's the same class it's the same thread but that um, batch will just have one file in it. So let's start off by having a serial upload. So like I said previously, Dropbox has given me uh, an app secret and an app key, um, and I um, use those to authenticate um, the user, authenticate the app with the user. So effectively you, you present the user with um, the app that wants to access it account its account and the user then chooses to allow it or not um, we'll copy that URL <coughs> paste it into browser so this process really can be within the app itself it's just that I've chosen to present the user with um, just a, a small simple dialogue with the URL I want the user to um, browse to and then follow the instructions so here's the instructions we'll press continue this is the app that I spoke about that I created or registered with Dropbox in its app center called C++ so um, Dropbox is now telling me um, C++ would like to access your account um, do you want this to go ahead so we'll allow that and we've been given a code so 
I'll copy that onto the clipboard and paste it back into my app. So my app is now going to make a few RESTful API calls. Um, the end result hopefully resulting in the app having a access token, which, like I said previously, can be then used um, with the uh, RESTful API um, endpoints that Dropbox has published to uh, manipulate accounts. So we've got serial selected. We've got two items, so after I press OK, a background thread should be created, uh, a batch of work to do given to that thread. Um, that batch of work is two files and they'll be uploaded sequentially one after the other. Um, all the work is done asynchronously, so you can see the UI is still responsive and we've just finished up the upload, so one after the other. We've uploaded two files hopefully if we go to our Dropbox account now we can see recent activity Penguin and Lighthouse have been uploaded which corresponds to our selection there and uh, that looks good so if we delete that and start again we could see so if I select another one say Jellyfish as well um, and use Serial Multicore <coughs> multi exactly the same thing is going to happen one asynchronous thread is going to be created a batch of work is going to be given to it creating three um, uh, in which is three files to upload but those um, three files to upload that work is going to be spread over all available cores and this machine's got more than three cores so we should hopefully see a lot of parallel uploads happening so let's start same process um, you can put this within the app uh, this authentication process but um, the ActiveX control that I use to host a web page uh, is not Edge um, and if you use uh, a browser that Dropbox isn't happy with for the authentication process it basically just tells you to update your browser to the latest Chrome or Edge or something so, so this is a bit of a workaround we will do the same thing though authenticate the um, access to the account by the app called C++ we should be given a new code which we can then use to upload the batch of work we'll paste that from the clipboard and off we go so we have a batch of work that's three uploads we've created a background thread one of and we've given it the type serial multi-core and as we can see we have parallel activity happening now all three uploads are happening at the same time um, this again is debug so things will be quicker um, in other build configurations but the parallel activity is, is there to see um, you could close the app down why uploads are in progress and you would only see in your Dropbox account the uploads from a batch that were 100% successfully uh, completed so this thread building block thread building blocks version of the upload has been um, completed so we'll go back have a look uh, recent activity three images we will delete those and so let's select five now and choose parallel so what's going to happen now is if we start we'll have the same authentication process um, continue allow do that get the code paste it in that code is going to be converted to an access token and five background threads are going to be created all with a batch um, of its own to work with and each batch would be one file in size okay so we can see some activity two of the uploads of two of the background threads have finished now so there would be the main UI thread and these three so four in total plus any other threads that are in any pools for uh, thread building blocks and um, libcurl and OpenSSL so that's done and if we have a look at our account 
recent activity, five uploads. So we can see that the app works. So in brief, what we've got is a desktop Windows app that can um, use any RESTful API calls. So can um, interact with social media, remote storage, things like Dropbox and so on. You could interact with things like YouTube and <coughs> um, any social media that um, publishes a RESTful API that you can interact with. Um, in brief, this app was written in C++ using the MFCs um, inside Visual Studio 2019. I um, got the latest libcurl and built that, um, which I'll explain more about later. And I also got the latest open SSL and built that because it was needed. It was a requirement of the build configuration of libcurl that I used. I needed it basically because Dropbox uses HTTPS, so uh, it was required by uh, libcurl. And that gives us our implementation. In the next video, I will a um, explain more about what's happening under the hood and what's happening programmatically to allow us to perform these uploads. Um, again, the whole project is available on GitHub so people can download it and play with it as they want to. So more to come in video two.